the European flag. Okay. Welcome again. What a pleasure to, to welcome you to, to Greece, uh, Mr. Secretary, and uh, uh, I very much enjoyed our last meeting we had in, uh, in Riyadh, uh, and it's a great uh, privilege to be able to discuss with you the you know, important global challenges that uh, we're facing when it comes to energy, biodiversity, uh, climate change. Uh, you know how committed Greece is um, to, to this agenda and how much progress we uh, have made on uh, numerous fronts over the past uh, three years. Uh, I would in particular like to highlight the very uh, fast penetration of renewables uh, in our energy uh, mix. We'll be adding almost two um, gigawatts uh, of uh, new renewable power just um, in 2022, which makes us one of the European leaders in this front. But of course, uh, uh, our agenda when it comes to climate is, uh, is, is, is very broad, and I take particular uh, interest uh, uh, in uh, uh, the issue of protecting our marine ecosystems, and I'm very happy that we will be able to be organizing the One Ocean Conference in 2024. I'd also like to congratulate the, the minister on his commitment to this cause. I'm sure it's going to be a very successful um, uh, conference, and it will be also an opportunity um, for us to highlight the particular importance um, we place on protecting uh, the very sensitive uh, marine ecosystems of the Mediterranean, which is an issue I passionately uh, care about. So again, welcome. Really looking forward to our discussion. Well, Prime Minister, thank you very, very much. First of all, thank you. I, I enjoyed our conversation in Riyadh very, very much. Um, and uh, I also thank the Foreign Minister um, and we're very excited that Greece will be hosting the Our Ocean Conference in 2024. The people don't realize the interconnection between, many people don't realize the, the interconnection between the oceans and the climate crisis. And you cannot solve the climate crisis without paying um, attention to what's happening in the oceans and vice versa. You can't solve the oceans without climate because the acidity of the ocean is changing dramatically and the warming of the ocean uh, where 90 percent of all the warming goes into the ocean is literally having a profound impact on flooding on intensity of storms and weather patterns so we're all in this together and it's so appropriate to have greece which has uh, got such an extraordinary shipping and maritime history uh, to be taking the lead uh, following Panama. So that's going to be a great step. We also, uh, let me just pay tribute to the special place that Greece uh, really represents now in terms of all of Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Cairo, what's coming with the next conference, you're the hub, you're in a critical place for the transport of electricity, for the transformation that has to speed up. And we really look forward to working with you and finding every new way possible. As you know, President Biden just succeeded in passing an historic piece of Congratula legislation. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it makes my job a little easier. Um, I'm not sure what I would have been saying to anybody if we hadn't done that. But the uh, literally almost half a trillion dollars now will be put into tax credits, uh, electric, electric vehicles, uh, new technologies for fuel and so forth. And it's our hope and the president's hope to be able to really work with you and other countries to put that to use in the best way possible. So thank you very much for your welcome. and your partnership.